My keys. Please okay. hand me the keys. Hang on. Thanks. Do you hear that too? What's in there? What if it's a ghost? What if... If it's a ghost, I can scare it off. But if it's a villain, I'll have to leave you behind and run. It all really depends. No, you won't. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> Constantine. That's my name, by the way. Here, oh, let me get that. Marina, thank you. How are you going to scare away the ghost? Fight fire with fire, they say. <sighs> The heart of beauty <laughs> is prone to change like the Constantine, wind. Constantine, please of stop and sing. Well, you see, nobody can stand my singing. <laughs> Let me walk you to your car. I don't think it's just the ghost that really scared you tonight. Yes, you guessed it. I have been getting the feeling that someone's following me. Hey, can I call you later? You know, and find out how you're doing and how your beautiful ankle is feeling. Could you give me your number, please? I would really appreciate it, hmm? My intentions are pure, I promise. Give me a call. I have to say, I think my ankle will be very pleased. Thank you so much. Come on, let's go. Hello, sweetheart. I'm not sweet. I'm angry and hungry. You're an hour late. I'm sorry. I had to play Superman first. A woman was in trouble. But of course, a woman. Honey, that woman is at least 60 years old. Now that you're finally all mine... No. I'm not yours. What do you mean? I mean it's over, Ira. Kostya, are you kidding me? No. I'm not joking. I just don't love you anymore. Don't do this now. Kostya, I'm begging you. I promise that my love is enough for both of us. You don't understand. You deserve more than this. Maybe your happiness is out there right now as we speak and you just don't see it. The man behind you keeps looking at you. Maybe he is your happiness. You'll never know if you don't try. Come on, go for it. You bastard. So I read your last detective novel. What can I say? It's great. <laughs> Thank you. You can get used to it. You've been publishing me for eight years now. Well, I'm used to it. But you know, I'm still waiting for the sequel. And it's going to be, as the young people say, mind-boggling. Look here, Max. With this muse, I'll write you a bestseller. Oh, again, Kostya. When was the last time we had this conversation? Six months ago? What was her name again? Olga. Mm-hmm. Well, after you dumped her, the woman ended up in the mental asylum. No, no. It's called a neurosis clinic. That was a one-time thing, and that will not happen again. Kostya, you better cut this... muse crap. It won't work. Max, why are you so unhappy? My books, which I write by your grace under the pseudonym, Ivan Krainov, have the highest circulation in the publishing house. Yes, yes. But don't forget that those books also have the highest royalties. So you and I are even. Uh, what should I do? 
If I can only write, when I have a muse, who is in love with me? <laughs> I told you to put a reservation on table five. Good afternoon. Do you have a reservation? Afternoon? No, we don't. That's too bad, because we're fully booked. What did I tell you? <laughs> well, maybe you can find a table for us somewhere. Enjoy. Oh, what is this? With compliments from the restaurant. Enjoy your meal. Thank you very much, ladies. Thank you. Gosh, yes. you have a magic touch. Have, I don't know how you do it, food. but it seems to work. What do you mean, I didn't do anything? I just love all women without exception. Mr. And then they return the, the favor. Restaurant. All of them without do any exceptions. Any food? The dog is hungry, you know what I mean? All right. Oi, Costa. Someday there will be a woman who will tell you to go to hell and will break your heart. But you will have to think strategically, because yes. if that happens, I'll stop writing detective novels. And with the blood of my broken heart, I'll write a novel that I will call Gardens of Illusion. Please tell me, what kind of novelist are you? Your burger you? and your bell. You've never suffered in your life. At most, you've been slightly upset. I'm a pragmatic person. And as a publisher, that's your good fortune. I suppose. Will you be long? Why are you in a hurry? Don't wait for me. All right. Here's a woman, for example, whom I'm sure will never fall for your heart tricks. Really? You think so? Mm-hmm. Let's see. Uh. <clears throat> Hello there. I see you're having trouble with your bill. Will you allow me to help you? No, I won't. Why are you interfering in my business? I did not ask for your help, now did I? <laughs> no, but I... Uh... I'm fine, thanks. Yes, I can see that you're just fine. But I just wanted to help you. No, thank you. I'm fine. <laughs> well, I'm sorry to have bothered you then. Well, that was fast. <sighs> I see your method works. No one can resist. Well, well. <laughs> Could you gloat somewhere else, please, Maxim? I should have bet half your next fee. Uh, it would make a nice newspaper headline, you know? Meet the woman who did the unexpected. What did she do? She blew off the magnificent, the great Kostya Mahif. The only exception. Hmm. There will not be any exceptions. Really? Yes. Hmm. Do not turn off the phone.
This is Kostya. Ah, the ghost of opera. Hello, flighty nymph. If you're mocking my vocals, you really shouldn't. They are pretty great, if you can remember correctly. That is hard to forget. And inspired by that, I'm, uh, going to see Rigoletto. I happen to have two tickets. Mm -hmm. So? So, would you like to go with me? I am just fascinated. The two of us make such an excellent duo. I will have a check at Lando in the driveway at 7 p.m. sharp, so don't be late, okay? That's a deal. Stop, 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 stop. Be careful, be careful, be careful. I really hope that you're not going to find my help humiliating this time. Who are you? And what do you want from me? I'm someone who was passing by and assumed that you needed help. Don't lie, you've been stalking me for a week. Who, me? Are you a maniac? Hey, hold on. You're thinking of someone else. You're confusing me. I'm not going to be, be careful, another victim. Huh? You can't break me. Ugh. He's been stalking me for a week. I just wanted to help the girl. He must have been planning an attack. I just offered to help with the car. Sexually motivated. She's not my type at all. So who broke the window? <clears throat> Is that the truth? Yes, but it was an accident. He grabbed my cart. Sir, please check him. I'm sure that he's a maniac. Listen, sir, she is living in a fantasy world. Don't listen to her. Three days ago, my things went missing, and now I'm pretty sure that he stole them for his unhealthy pleasures. Mr. Mahiv, did you take her things? Of course I did not. Can you search his place to make sure he's telling the truth? All right, that's enough. I want my phone call. He who knows doesn't say anything. Shut your mouth. He who knows. He who knows. Come on, keep working. He who knows. Why didn't you answer? My ass is numb from sitting in that cell. Well, you should be thanking me. I don't have to pick up the phone the first time somebody calls. Want some? No, thanks. So, Kostya, it seems your approach is now working on her. <laughs> no way, my approach works. She's the problem. There is something wrong with her. She's a real lunatic. But don't you worry. Marina won't let me down. Here's your coffee. Thank you. Gently. Watch your step. Hold on a second. Stop. Stop. Welcome to my favorite restaurant of all time. It may be small and not fancy, but it has the best Italian food in the entire world. Oh, I love Italian food. You do? Yes. Well, then I really hope that you are going to like it here then. Ta da! Do I like it? Yes. Are you kidding me? This is my favorite restaurant. It is? Yes. I didn't know. After you. <laughs> and a bottle of Barolo, 2001, please. That is my favorite wine, too. Seriously? Mm hmm I love Barolo. That's all I drink. It seems like we have the same good taste. I have never met a man with whom I have so much in common. 
let me make a toast. To the most amazing and sophisticated woman. Here's to you. Marina, I would like to give you a little present, darling. Oh, I love presents. But we barely know each other. And I'm afraid you might not like it at all. Hold on. Is it a snake? No. It's just that when I first saw it, I got this feeling. It is something that should belong to you and nobody else. you have known that I'm a big admirer of horses? I didn't know. But I just had a feeling. Really? I was born in the year of the horse. It's my favorite animal. Really? Yes. Hmm. Thank you so much. Marina. <laughs> I feel a kindred spirit in you, darling. And this has never happened to me before. I feel the same. Really? Yes. <sighs> Don't you want to come back to my place? Just for a cup of tea? Of course I do. And what the hell are you doing here? Don't shout. It is 8 o'clock in the morning. If I were your neighbor, I would have called the police. You like involving the police, I see. Are men in uniform arousing? Don't be rude. I'm here on business. I do not know what kind of business I could have with you. Please explain. Keep an eye on Fairy. Isn't there something else I can do? Maybe get you some coffee. No, I don't drink coffee. And your ridiculous escapade has cost me a lot of money for breaking a window. I didn't ask you to break the window. And I didn't ask you to molest me, so what? I still don't understand what this mongrel has to do with it. I cannot pay them back with my librarian salary, so I got a part-time job, but there's no one to look after Fairy. Are you crazy? I'm not gonna babysit your mutt. She's vulnerable. She can't stand being alone. Do not make her suffer. It is certainly not her fault. It's just a couple of days until I can find her a home. Do you understand? I have a job. I'm on a deadline. Your job didn't stop you from following me around for a week. A couple of days with Fairy won't hurt. Fine. All right. I get it. This is all my fault. And I'll make it up to you. Let me just pay for the broken window and that's it. You and your bloody money again. I can earn my own money. Please, just keep an eye on Fairy. I'll be back at five. Call me if you need anything. Hold on. Come back. Uh, and your phone? What's your number? Oh. Fairy! What are you doing, Fairy? Give it back! Give it back! No! Hey! Hey! Stop! Let go! You're crazy! What is the matter with you? Hey, Fairy, you can't! I said stop! Yes! Yes, I agree. I overreacted. Do not hold it against me. What are you doing? Is that necessary? You're killing me! Don't interfere, all right? Fairy, stop it! Get out of the way! Move your muscle! Fairy, I'm begging you! Come on, please! No, Fairy! Fairy, 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 move away, Fairy! Let go, you darn bastard! 
Oh, what a rude guy. Apologize to Fairy immediately. She understands everything you say. I'm sorry. Please, you're drooling, Fairy. <laughs> All right. I've paid for the window, and I've taken your dog for a walk. It's time to part ways now. That's enough. Yes, thank you for paying for the window. I felt very ashamed that I couldn't pay them back right away. Oh, you're welcome. You might as well wait until I can pay you back. I mean, it was my fault too, after all. No, 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 no. Forget it. I frightened you. So it was my fault. And don't worry about the money. Goodbye, then. Marina, I am finished. You did not show up. Too late. Don't start now. Relax. No, fairy, stop. Hey, stop it. Come on. Hello, Max? Fairy, you can't... Stop it. Listen. I need help right now. Fairy, don't... I'm not talking to you. If you don't want Ivan Crane off to go crazy, then you have to help me right away. Look at that monster. Not even you could ruin my grand plan today. Okay, cell phone? Uh, give me the phone. Let's go. No, no, come here. Hello there. Yeah, yeah, hello. I'm from Maxim Kirillovich. Didn't he say it was urgent? I'm sorry, my supervisor held me up. Fairy, fairy, what kind of supervisor is that? You see, I could barely convince him to approve the topic of my okay, dissertation. Oh, just hold the dog. Motives of polyamory in the work of Ivan Krynov. It went from bad to worse. I'm a big fan. All right. Watch the dog for me. Sure. You better hold him tight. When I'm free, I'll call you. But, uh... Fairy, stay. <laughs> Marina, I'm afraid I'm not exactly the right man for a relationship. I mean a serious relationship. Are you married? No, no, <laughs> no, no. It's just that I like going to the mountains. So what? Every man has hobbies. No, Marina, you don't understand. Mountains are mountains. Three years ago, I climbed with a group, and one of the guys... 
unfortunately didn't notice the crevice. I held him as long as I could, and then we ended up falling down. Did he survive? We survived. But sadly, I got a very bad back injury. And ever since then, it's almost like I've been walking on a razor's edge. It's just one wrong move. And I'll be paralyzed. I have not called you all day because I had a follow-up appointment with my surgeon. You could have told me earlier. Uh, I have never told a woman about my injury. But you are different. I have a feeling that there could be something serious between the two of us. Please say you can forgive me. Can you forgive me? Yes. Would you be with a man who's close to being crippled? Yes. Yes? Of course I will. What's the matter? Did I hurt you or something? Tell me, what's the matter? Please. The thing is, I'm allergic. Uh, I'm allergic? allergic to dogs. You didn't tell me you had a dog. But I don't have a dog. It must be a misunderstanding. I, I will have to go before I have a seizure. You can call me again when you fixed your misunderstanding. I'll get you pills. Marina, can I just walk you home? <sighs> Damn it, seriously? How am I gonna go to work today? That damn fairy. Do not pull, you monster. Are you bored with me? I'm fed up too. Your mistress will be here soon. I hope so. Fairy! Fairy! Stop! I just walked three whole blocks and Fairy is nowhere to be found. You know what's ironic? I just wanted to work. And now I'm looking for a dog that messes everything up for me. Are you tired? No, no. Well then, you better go look for him that side and I will keep looking this side. All right, I'll do that. The bill, please. Fairy, are you full now? Please don't tell your sister that I fed you sausages again. Hmm? That's a good girl. Fairy. Fairy, where's Kostya? Fairy! <laughs> come here, come here. You are my good girl. I found you, I found you. What were you doing over there, huh? Parasite, what were you doing? You scared me and your mistress. Read on, read on. Ivan Kranov is a phenomenon. <laughs> Anastasia, I had no idea that you like this kind of literature so much. Why wouldn't you think that? He's not a mediocre writer, and please call me Asia. All right. Kranov is a talented and original writer, and I'm sure he has a great future ahead of him. He will probably only write 10 or 20 more of his detective novels. I am sure they will be just as good. He has such a keen sense of the nuances of human emotion that takes your breath away. I'm a philologist, it's not easy to impress me. You talk about him with such passion. You even managed to convince me. Tomorrow I will go buy one of his books. You are right, I am really fascinated. I know you have urgent work to do. Let me go my own way and you can go home. What are you saying? I'm going to walk you home, and that is final. Fairy? Darling? I have to confess that I've grown really fond of you. Really. And I'm willing to be a dog sitter for however long it takes, okay, dear? So every day at 8 o'clock sharp, I expect you to be there. Thanks so much. That is a really big help. Shall we go? Huh, fairy? <laughs>
Oh, wow. That is a lot of work. 17 pages in just 10 hours. Bravo, Kostya. A new personal record. Ugh. Okay. It's almost nine and Fairy has not yet come. Oh dear, it's 12 p.m. I have definitely overslept. Well... Hello, Asya? Is everything all right? Yes, thank you. I've been waiting for you and Fairy. We're not coming again. I found a good family for Fairy. They took her this morning. Sorry, I forgot to tell you. Well, that is really wonderful news. But of course I'm gonna miss her a lot. Why don't we celebrate Fairy's new life? I would really like to take you out tonight. Thank you, but I have plans. There is a poetry night at the House of Writers. Mm-hmm. Well, perhaps I could come and keep you some company? Constantine, I hate to break it to you this way, but I already have a companion. Have a good day. So why did you summon me so urgently, huh? I wasn't honest with you, Peter. Ivan Kranov is my literary pseudonym. Oh my goodness gracious, I'm so happy to hear that. I can hardly believe it. I'm working on a book right now, and I need your help. I've certainly tried myself at the detective genre, but I'm not sure if sure I can do it. Sure you can. I will guide and support you, and I will share all of my experience with you. Goodness, I cannot say no to that. That's good to hear. So first of all, remember, I want Arabica, and it has to be coarse medium roasted, and only Kenyan. Then I need you to pick up the dry cleaning. And I need you to call a plumber very urgently. Wait a second. But I thought we were going to work on the book. <sighs> we are going to work on the book, but I cannot work in an environment of domestic chaos. All right, Peter? There you go. Nothing is going to be left soon, my darling. Neither you nor my reflection, only a memory of cool and fresh fragrance, with flavors of tangerine. Bravo, bravo, bravo! Thank you, thank you. And as any poet or any artist, I also have a muse for my thank work. You, thank you, excuse me. And I would like to dedicate my next poem to that woman, my muse. Good evening to you. My sweet, eternal... So where is your mysterious companion? To you, I return again. That is to none you, of I your business. The helm, and That's my and business. Grieving. And when I dream, because I am I concerned. You, I, dream of sunsets and my I want to look to into his insolent face. To you again, my sweet ideal. For good. My soulmate. My weak heart. Oh, Thank you. Bravo. Uh, now please allow me to introduce all of you here tonight. Uh, the inspiration Just admit for my you're work. here alone. <laughs> my muse. How sweet. Anastasia. Anastasia, you are beautiful. I adore you. I want to dedicate this whole evening to her. What a lucky lady. What a romantic man. Thank you. Thank you for tonight. Asya, dear. Won't you introduce us, Asya? Uh, Constantine? Boris, the best poet of our time. I am flattered. Where do you publish? Online. Only online? That's right. Publishers are only 
after in money, not art. And what makes you think that your poetry is art? To me, it's just pseudo-innovation. I'm not going to have this conversation with you because I'm afraid you are not competent enough to judge my work. Well, of course I'm not. I've only sold half a million copies of my books. Ivan Kranov? Oh, I see. Well, that explains everything. Excellent show tonight. So you're really Ivan Kranov? I am. A talented and original writer, as you said previously. That is too bad. You have changed my perspective about you and the writer Ivan Kranov with your arrogant escapades. I don't think you should stick around longer. I'm not mad. May I come in? Come in. You don't know how much I've missed you. I'm sorry I haven't returned your calls. Uh, hold on. Wait. <sighs> After the trauma, trust is very important to me. Yes. And you don't trust me. And that's why it's over between us. <sighs> what do you mean? But you and I haven't even started yet. I just don't want to torment you. That's all. Kostya. Kostya, I beg you. I beg you, don't do this. Please, give me one more chance. I promise you that everything will be different. Come in. Good evening. Peter. My darling. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? Well, because you told me that I Shh, It's should... too late now. She already guessed it. Peter and I love each other. And we live together. Don't you worry, my love. This woman has a great heart. She won't ruin us. Hold on. You and I... You and I did everything together. That's because you're amazing, Marina. You are very special. But even all the warmth of your heart can't cure me of this vicious passion I'm feeling. And Constantine, what are you doing? Shh. Trust me. You're amazing, and you deserve better than me. T -t <laughs> All right, Peter. You can get up now. Or are you going to ruin my suit? The melodrama is over. You can get back to work. Oh. So you're n not... Not what? No. What did you think? Are you out of your mind? Asya. I acted like a real jerk last night. I want to make it up to you. Hi, darling. Hi, Sasha. This is for you. Oh, wow. Thank you. I didn't expect to see you so soon, but I'm glad. <laughs> what a long line of gentlemen. Who is this? Uh, an acquaintance. A casual acquaintance. Ah, acquaintance. Casual acquaintance. I think that Sasha would be very interested in hearing how the two of us met, Asya. What exactly is your casual acquaintance hinting at? I have no idea. Can we go now? Let's go. <laughs> hmm. Let's go! I still don't get it. What are you doing in the city? I thought you said you were going on a business trip to Berlin. For two months? I had to come back right away. You know what my job can be like. You look like a librarian to me. Yes, I work in a library. I need to get some information for a client. What kind of client would be interested in a librarian? Asya, are you a successful marketer or an aspiring spy? Please. <laughs> oh, Sasha. You're kidding, right? All the books are getting moldy in the basement. What is this? It's for you. Hmm. Thanks so much.
Afternoon. Can you gather these books for me, please? Oh, sure. I tightened all the chairs and tables that were loose. Thank you, Valera. We'll have to strengthen the shelving. If I don't go to lunch, I'll be back in time for my shift. Valera, thank you very much, but you really shouldn't sacrifice your lunch for the library. Well, I am not doing it for the library. It's for you. <laughs> Can you please just give me the entire list at once? Mm, I don't know what you mean. I mean your boyfriends. Uh, how many do you have? I seem to have lost count. Oh, I don't have boyfriends. I only have friends. It happens, in case you didn't know. We just like hanging out and spending time together and supporting each other wherever mm -hmm. we can. Well, so far, I've only seen you being supported. You know what I mean. Hmm? You've been looking in the wrong place. I have very kind and unselfish friends. For example, they try to help the library. Hmm. Well, I see. Helpful indeed. Valera makes repairs for which there is no money. Boris donates books. Our collections haven't been updated in a long time. And Sasha installs a climate control system. Hmm. Isn't it amazing? It is just unbelievable how all these men truly love reading. You better believe it. I still don't know why you're stalking me, though. I am not stalking you. I'm here on business. Give me the books. Try searching the internet. I don't want the internet. I like the dust on books. I like this atmosphere. And I would like to savor it before the almighty Alexander installs air conditioning in the library. Afternoon. Hello. Have you decided to become a reader, too? Yes. Do you need these books? I do. Come with me. I'll find them for you. Asia, dear, I couldn't find it. Yes, I will have a look. Can I go now? Yes, see you tomorrow. I've done everything like you said. You can count it. Shall I come back tomorrow? I will call you. OK, goodbye. Uh, what is going on in here? Nothing much. I am just simply joining your little reading circle, that's all. Chief, look here. My calculations came up with a number like this. What's that? You didn't happen to add another zero. No, I did not. Think about it, bringing it all up to date, hmm? Not to mention that the pipes need to be replaced. Ah, oh, dear, well. what a joy. Kostya, Everything we'll pay for our repairs. Lydia, please, we have no right to abuse Konstantin's kindness like that. It is way too expensive, and he does not owe the library anything. Lydia Vasilyevna. Nikolaevna. Oh, Nikolaevna. One second. Don't worry, I'll have the money. I really need your help with something. Mine? Of course, I hate to admit it. But I cannot do it without your suitors. Now, Valera. Your job will be to ruin the foreman's life, and I mean keep an eye on the quality of work. But, uh, that's not my job. I'm a rescue worker. Valera, you are very capable, and most importantly, you're honest. I know you will not let the others cheat. We can only trust you with this and nobody else. <sighs> Asya, okay, but only because you're asking me. So? It's agreed? That sounds wonderful! Well, I'll go now then. I have a shift soon. Yes. Yes, please. Thank you. Bye. <clears throat> oh, please handle the poet, will you? He won't be able to forgive me for my millions of copies. We are not on speaking terms, so it's out of the question. Boris, I have asked Constantine to support me today because I really have a huge favor to ask you. Above the golden rays increase, but you your wild over prey for tempest, as if in tempest there was peace. 
turns out you are really not as bad as I thought, my friend. Boris, you're a genius. A pure genius. So, will you help us? Will you? Kostya, I will put together a poetry evening that is going to make the whole town talk for a whole year, you'll see. That's great. Yes, it is. You can mark my words. Well, I have to go. Uh, uh, <clears throat> I will have to make a program. Hmm, and make an announcement on my website. That's then I right, have to call right. colleagues. Mm -hmm. Kostya, mm -hmm. although you are in a very cheap genre, you're a poet at heart. Thank you. you Thank are. you, Boris. Thank you so much. Asya. Asya, dear. <laughs> Goodbye. Constantine? Goodbye. Gosh, what a pain to drink with all these poets. I hope that your millionaire at least just drinks mineral water. Uh, Sasha isn't coming. He told me he's having some business problems. But I think we can do without climate control, right? No. No, we cannot. I'll get the money. <sighs> Max! Buddy. Oh. It's a matter of life and death. I am urgently needing an advance on my next book. I am going to need 80%. 80 or 10%. I said 80%. <laughs> Why not 100 at once? Costa, you already get more than any other author. I need it very badly. Look, need is not an excuse. For instance, I really need to find a new Joan Rowling. So what? Max, I need money to renovate an old library. <laughs> I see. You have a crush on... <laughs> that library girl, huh? Shh, shh, shh. <laughs> she is called a library. A librarian. <laughs> Stop laughing. <sighs> but what I still don't understand is why I'm supposed to invest in a librarian. I would understand if you wanted to take your new girlfriend on an Adriatic cruise. Will you help me? <sighs> yes. What was wrong? I told you I would. Okay, be careful. Yes, yes it was. What is that? Hello, Lydia Nikolaevna. Kostya! I honestly still can't believe that it's really true. How can I ever thank you enough? Oh, no, you don't have to thank me at all. It's my civil duty. Excuse me, please. Careful. Give me that. Be careful, please. Come this way. Tell me, where is Asya? I wanted to show her a mock-up of the poster. The mock-up? She's not here. She leaves every single Wednesday for half a day. She told me right away when she applied for the job. Where does she go? Why? Do you really not know? I'm sorry. I, I, I'm so sorry. Excuse me. Excuse hey, me, guy. I... Where do you think you're going? I'm just asking. I'm sorry. So, are you done with stray dogs and now you've moved on to homeless people? Is that what it is? As always, you are not funny, but it is still good to see you. We need more hands. Hmm? Uh, Asya. I'm afraid I'm not ready for that kind of activity. Oh, well, in that case, you shouldn't stay here too long. Have a good day. You and I have a poetry reading coming up. I'm sure you'll manage just fine without me. And I'm not leaving until I've given out all the food. End of discussion. This is beginning to sound like a thing. Don't you have anyone else to feed? Do you have to feed the homeless? I do. But it's more than just that. I'm looking for my father. My dad was an engineer at a factory. Then one day he jumped under a falling beam to save another worker. 
He saved him, but he got a head injury. A very noble act. That is a rare thing these days. I know, but after the injury, he started having memory lapses. At first, he'd just forget little things. Then one day, he left the house and never came back. I haven't found him in hospitals or morgues. But I have a feeling that he is alive and nearby. And this place is the last hope I have left. I believe that he just does not remember how to get back home. Asya, can you show me a photo of him? And tell me, in what neighborhood did he go missing? Come in, it's open. The poetry evening ended an hour ago. Pity you couldn't come. It was such a success. The audience was bouncing off the walls. Well, that's okay. There would not have been room anyway. Boris asked me to thank you for the idea and for all the organization. He sends this. Asya? Will you forgive me? For what? I've been looking for your father for four days, but to no avail. I've given you false hope. I understand. You should not blame yourself. You have done all that you could. Are you tired? Have you eaten at all? <laughs> I don't remember. That's not good. I'll make you some dinner. Asya! Asya! I think we found him. That's my dad. Good evening. Good evening. I'm Kostya, and this is uh, Asya. Forgive me for such a late visit. Does Oleg Ivanovich live here? No, you must have the wrong house. Ah, uh, I have a photo of him. Look. This is Vanya. Come inside. Vanya, come here. Dad! <sighs> this is his daughter. You're kidding. Daughter? Dad, don't you recognize me? I found Vanya outside, in the sandbox in our backyard. Dad, it's me, Esya. You make it sound like you picked up a puppy. He was like a puppy. Well-dressed and clean, but his eyes were filled with fear. He doesn't remember who he is or where he came from. You could have at least notified the police. She's been going crazy for three years. She doesn't look crazy. Uh, it's more fun for us with him around. And there's someone to play cards with. And Vanya is busy. Sculpting these birds. I am selling it for him. Rima? Who's that? 
Dad, let's go home now. He's not going anywhere. And why is that? Because who is going to look after him? You young people should be arranging your own lives, not looking after an old man. He's used to me, and I'm to him. I'll be visiting you every day, okay? I'll never leave you again. Kostya, thank you very much. If it weren't for you, I would never have found my father. Asya. It's all so strange. And... and so fast. I've never experienced anything like this in my life. But... Asya. I'm in love with you. Really? Yes. I want to be near you. Always. What is this for? I should have been making you breakfast in bed and serving you. You were not supposed to do this, darling. Well, you were sleeping so soundly, I didn't want to wake you up. <sighs> the fritters will get cold. Oh, very well. I like cold fritters. Hello, Lydia Nikolaevna. Hello, Kostya. Look how beautiful everything is. Stunning. Everything's brand new. You've literally breathed new life into our library. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. Thank you, Kostya. Thank you so much from all thinkers and readers and seekers out there for your invaluable contribution. You know, spiritually impoverished times, it means so much. It is so rare, and therefore it is much appreciated. You will never understand. Thank you so, so much, much for the wonderful words. Thank you. This is for you. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Here is food for fairy. <sighs> oh, good. Is his password the same? Mm -hmm. It's time to finalize when then, today? No, not yet. Uh, there are still a few final touches to be made. Hmm. 
Trust me. Okay. Ah. And this is us. Remember when we went to the Colosseum? Oh, how beautiful is the Colosseum? Have I really been here? Of course you have. We went there after you got the prize, Dad. Well, go, go. What are you waiting for? Uh, walking. Walking. <laughs> you are unlucky. If only you could beat me once. Excuse me. Peter? Uh, yes. I need the book online by tomorrow morning. The publisher's waiting for the material. Uh, excuse me. Girls, boys, my birdie. Cheer up, we're having an opera. Come on, right. Well done. Yeah, that's it. Look over there. There, that's it. Ah, all right, now, uh, let's all get up and move around. Let's go upstairs. Everybody, follow me. Dad, how are you? Who is this? This is Kostya, my friend. He helped me to find you. Ah, hmm. Oleg Ivanovich, if I may say this, I love your daughter very much. I'm willing to do anything to make her happy. I would like to propose to her. Asya. You are the one and only. You are the most beautiful and kind woman. Will you be my wife? Yes? Yes? My children. Hmm. May you be happy. Hmm. Not you again. You bastard, Kostya. You're not my soulmate. I know, my love. I am a bastard. But I still do miss you terribly. <sighs> Marina? Did something happen? Yes. Embrace me, my darling. Passionately, tightly. Whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean? What is this? My tender, timid nymph. In the woods with me, your goddess. That's our fantasy world. What on earth? Get dressed immediately. Have you lost your mind? Kostya? Who is this? Uh, Asya. This is nonsense. I don't know what she's doing here. What? Uh, you have no clue what I'm doing here? All right. Look. The two of us chatted half an hour ago. I want to see you. Embrace you passionately and touch your skin. But that's ridiculous. No, I mean it. I, I have not gotten a chat room in a week. Damn. Wait, come here. Here we go. Come in. You can see for yourself. I've been hacked. I can't even get onto my own page. Look. <sighs> Look, I want to see you and embrace you passionately. Exactly. You see? Asya, Asya, I didn't write this. Asya, I promise you, 
Asya, please believe me. Let me go. I think I figured it out. Look at this. There's an email in your inbox about changing uh, your social network password. Mm hmm. That was two days ago. I knew I had been hacked, but how did they get onto my page? Look here. Just yesterday, you got another email about changing the password. Mm hmm. So they must have done this. Mm hmm. Haven't you logged into any social networks? I didn't have time. All right now, back to work. Here are my drafts. The book needs to be finished in exactly three weeks, understood? Yes, I remember. Uh -huh. I remember, uh, Constantine! Hmm? Look here. Uh, I have written something here. No need to show me. I trust you completely. You finish the book without me. I will double your fee, and I'll be sure to credit you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I've always wanted to be published. Go ahead. Lydia Nikolaevna, where is Asya? Cause she's not here. She called and, and told me she's quitting immediately. <sighs> Said it was for family reasons. Uh huh. making a noise. Nobody's here. They left yesterday already. What do you mean? They packed their bags and left. Not a word. Her cell phone is off. It's like she never existed. Enough now. Get yourself together. Come on, get yourself together. Come on, just find a new muse. Ladies, aren't you tired of being all alone? Hey dude, hell is right there. You have such beautiful hands. Get lost, or I will knock you out. Want a drink? Are you out of your mind? I promise I did not write anything to that marina. Let me give you something to eat, okay? Open the link. What's this nonsense? And this is a serious scandal. A visitor came. He says, you know, what am I supposed to do now? How should I live?
Kostya. I'll explain everything to you. Asya already warned me that you were going to find me. And where is she? I don't know that. Uh, she just asked me to pretend I'm her father. Pretend you're her dad? Kostya, dear. Uh, for goodness sake. Do, do not be mad. Asya really offered me a good amount of money. It was very convenient. You will probably know that the salaries for actors are not great. I haven't had any movie offers. Listen, do you have any idea what you've put at stake? Kostya, dear, please don't be angry. I'm begging you. Please don't be angry. Here, she asked me to give you this envelope. There you have it. Huh? I have to say, it was my best role yet. I have even lost 10 pounds. It was the highlight of my career. When you asked for a hand, believe me, I, I had a catharsis. It was amazing. Bravo, bravo. Your deception was a success. And you've hit the bullseye. Excuse me, Kostya. I didn't know that it would turn out like this. Hi. Hi. Yes, yes, Alex, you really did everything absolutely perfectly. It was all my fault, and please, don't you worry. Yes, thank you very much. Kostya got our message, and now he also knows who punished him and why. Hmm. If it's all gonna work out, what are you so worried about? About work. I've spent a lot of time on our revenge, and now it's time to clean up the mess. So are you happy? Yes, 100%, aren't you? Then what is this during here? Oh, that. It's been waiting for me to get my hands on it. Thanks for reminding me. Hello? Yes, Sasha, hello. Dinner? Mm, yes. Of course. Call me at seven. See you tonight. What is the hurry, Maxim? Hurry. Come on, sit down. Have a chat. So this is what you call your contribution will be mentioned? After all that I've done? That is a stab in the back. Don't be so melodramatic. You should be writing a woman's novel, Peter. I took your socks to the laundry so I could write this book. And I demand that this book be published under my name alone. Have I made myself clear? Otherwise, I will sue. All right, hold your horses, please. We can always go to court. Constantine, is he telling the truth? He is. I didn't write the book. <sighs> Peter, I want to apologize to you very sincerely. Naturally, the book won't go on sale until you and I have managed to sort out the copyright issues. Our lawyers will prepare the documents and then I'll get back to you. Sorry again. We will be in contact. Constantine, Constantine. Do you realize that you're setting me up? Do you realize how much money this is? Circulation advertising, pre-sales, and just like that. Phew, 
down the drain! I'm sorry, Maxim. And I really want to make it up to you. But I don't have any money at all. I understand. <sighs> then just... Go. Sit down. And write your next story. If you count logically, I think... Uh, one book in three months, so maybe... Four books in a year. Three at least. I will not be writing anything. What? I'm going to give the copyright of Ivan Crane off to Peter. And I'm sure that he will be very happy with that arrangement. Wait, wait. Kostya. Do not be crazy, huh? I beg you. Get yourself together and write again. Just forget about this Ashel woman. Look at what she's turned you into. You have become an alcoholic. You're getting addicted, don't you see? Don't treat me like a child. Take this damn pseudonym and let's call it quits. It's time. Whatever you say. Hello, Osip Leondovich. Will you please prepare the documents for the transfer of the rights of the, uh, pseudonym, Ivan Krynov. Kostya. Hello. A uniform and walkie-talkie. Do you have a pistol? <laughs> no, we're not allowed. Are you saving somebody's life again? No, I work here. Security guard. Yeah. I never thought that this would happen to you, dear. Now you know. Well, I'm still alone. I was very cruel to you, Irina. Please forgive me if you can. Did you get dumped as well? Yes. My business is growing. Will you join me? As creative director? Thank you, Irina. But I'm fine. Okay. Goodbye. This is very Lovely. exciting. This does you not have to let us know how it all ends. Thanks to your blog, I now believe that a man Love has like a soul too. This does not simply end. Many thanks to the author. This is genius. Thank you so much for a great read. I hung on your every word. I have to know more. It can't end like this. Please tell us what happened next. Genius. Compliments to the your author. Your notes will make a really great book. More, more. We want more, please. Here, the security guard at the supermarket. Did it turn out even better than we planned? Now even I feel a little sorry for him. You feel sorry for him now? How about six months ago when he dumped you and you were lying facing the wall in that damn neuroses clinic for a month until I saw you there and offered to get back at him? Asya, enough of that now. I love Valera. 
And I think that we are getting serious. Valera? The actor, that Emmercom guy you were paying to help us? He is very talented. You can see his talents on his t-shirt. Asya, why can you not just say that you are happy for me? I am happy. Even if it doesn't turn out to be serious, we've already gotten our revenge. You have changed. You have become quite irritable. It's just your imagination. I'm fine. No, you're not. You have been a mess ever since you broke up with Kostya. Here is his blog. Read it. I don't need it. Hi. Hi. Did you have a fight? It is none of your business. If you say so. We were going to have lunch today, Asya. Remember? Sasha, sorry. I really can't do this. I need to prepare a report. Is it necessary to do it yourself? Yes. It's a very important client. I can't trust anyone else with this. Hmm. Can we have dinner then? Sasha, I'm sorry. I have a lot of work. All right. Call me when you are free. Hey, what's taking you so long to open the door? Aren't you expecting guests at all? <laughs> well, you have become a recluse, haven't you? <laughs> and everything has changed here. Where are those, uh, what do you call them, girls with flashlights? Huh? Who are you? Oh, my heave, how I've missed you. Of course, you're a rare bastard. Why didn't you answer your phone or your mail? I've been busy. He's been busy. <laughs> I know. I read. Everyone reads your blog. A masterpiece. So let us celebrate! I don't drink, Maxim. Uh... But it's your favorite. So what? All right, we'll put it off for now then. Kostya. I have to confess, I was wrong about you. As a writer, you are talented. No, wait. More than talented, a genius. Your blog is the best thing you've ever written. And I have to. I am obliged to publish it. I feel personally responsible. But I don't want to be published. Well, maybe you don't. But I do. You know, I would really love to publish the right to Constantine McKeith. Here. Everything is ready. It's a contract to publish your blog. And I'm not going away. Not until you sign it. Mm-hmm. Your novel, Gardens of Illusion, has been nominated for the Best Seller Award tonight. Are you expecting to be the winner? Naturally. Naturally, we expect to win the award. After all, Gardens of Illusion was last month's record seller, so we're very hopeful. There you have it. Tell us what inspired you while you were working on the book. A woman I loved. Asya saved me and brought me back to life. Hi. Hi. You've been very right. busy, so I thought I would come over to the office and try my luck. It's the book, Gardens of Illusion. I've been thinking about this too long, and you're tired of waiting by now. But I'll take my chances. You know, no prizes or no awards will ever mean anything to you when the person that you love isn't there to share it with you. Asya, I love you, dear. Yes, I know that. Unfortunately, that's the sentence for me. 
I'm just not worthy of true love. <sighs> I know that we belong together. I want you to be my wife. Sasha? Sasha, stand up. It so happened that I have hurt a lot of women in my lifetime. I'm sorry, but I can't. I'm sorry. I beg you to forgive me. Though I know very well that I... do not deserve your forgiveness. Why did you not write that I cheated you? I'm so ashamed of everything. You're shivering, Asya. It's cold outside. I've missed you very much. So have I. My darling. And why did you write in your blog that my eyes are green? But your eyes are green, are they not? You see? You do not know me at all. No, I don't. 